Hello and welcome back to Chopping Board Part 3. And we are at the point now where all of these objects have been cut and pasted back into place and each of these have their own labelled level. So what we are now going to do is put all of the vegetables on the chopping board. This involves using our selection tool and we're just going to drag and drop them in the appropriate place. Now I'm going to put it one way if you would like to rearrange your vegetables in a different order that's fine. So I'm going to put my lettuce up here I'll put the pepper here. The carrot I'm going to do something a little bit different with. I don't want it horizontal, I want it vertical. So my carrot is selected. I'm going to do Control T or um, Command T. So once you've gone and done that, that means you can resize it, reshape it and rotate. So we've got it there and we can move that to the side here. And if I'm happy with that, then I'm just going to go with a tick. Now then, the tomato is here. Onion and the beans. So that just leaves us with this salad logo. Well, first of all, I'm going to go and put that here and I'm going to focus a little bit of time on this logo. So let's go and magnify in on this. Okay, so with the logo, I can do something clever with it. I can invert the colors. To do that, if I go to Image, Adjustment, and Invert, let's see what happens there. And by doing that, we have gone and changed the colors. I want to duplicate this so if I just use the selection tool and hold the option button down I can go and copy it. I want this one to be slightly bigger so I'll do command T and I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger and then I'm going to go and do the same again so I go and do a tick Maybe use my hand tool just to move that down a bit. Okay, so with my selection tool, I'm going to do um, option again, hold the option key, and I'm going to drag. And again, I'm going to do command T, and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And so we have that. So let's have a look at what the it all looks like at the moment. I'm just going to go and hold the option button down and click and use my hand tool to bring it up and you can see that we have this now but we really want to get rid of all of this other rubbish so that's nice and straightforward we want to go uh, image no we don't even need to do that let's go to the crop tool here and click and all I want to do is simply resize. So I'm going to use this here. Move this in to that point and pull this up. So we have that. And if I'm happy with it, well, I go and give it another tick. And that is my finished work. So hopefully you've got to that point. If you get stuck, please have a chat with your teacher. They will be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching all of these. I will see you in the next set of videos which looks at Adobe Illustrator. Until then, bye-bye.